We're here at Impact Basketball in Las Vegas with Todd Mayo of the Westchester Knicks and formerly Marquette. How are you enjoying Vegas, Todd? Enjoying it a lot. It's a uh, good work out here. A lot of great players, a lot of talent, and uh, I just like like the competitive spirit that's going on around here. What do they have you working on more than anything out here? Uh, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, three on threes, uh, four on fours. I think that's pretty good because you're working on your moves. It's not just drill, dummy drills. It's actually working against high competition. So you had kind of an interesting situation, you know, leaving Marquette, um, going to Westchester. How do you think that experience, you know, is going to help you, um, you know, throughout the process, just having been a pro for a year? Um, it's going to help me a lot. Uh, I try to help these guys out as best as possible. They're, they're asking me questions, how the D-League is, and uh, like just um, what's next if, if the NBA dream doesn't come true. And, uh, I'm just, just trying to help as best as I can, uh, I'm telling guys that uh, the D-League is a uh, high competition. Uh, it's a development league. Uh, a lot of guys go there, even first round draft picks uh, get, sit down, get sent down there. So uh, I just try to try to be a vet and just try to help as, as much as possible and, and try to learn from them as well. I know the D League can be kind of tough with the travel and um, you know not, you're not flying in planes everywhere and, and especially on a team that was maybe struggling a little bit more than the rest. What was that experience like for you? Uh, it's definitely uh, it's a mindset. Um, you might have to get up one day and travel a whole day and then play the game at 7:30 at night. So. It's definitely a mindset, and it's definitely a business. You got you're getting paid to to do stuff like that. So, just got to have your mindset right, and just be happy about it. So, when it, what went into your decision, you know, to eventually go the D League route? Uh, just the the decision with uh, Buzz leaving. Um, I, I wasn't very I wasn't very good in academic wise. Um, I was behind on uh, my my classes, and uh, I just wanted to learn a little bit more. At the, at the highest level. And I thought the D-League would help me a little bit. And um, college, it helped me a lot to who I am today. Um, I always represent Marquette wherever I go. Um, but I felt like the D-League would try to help me in some areas that I can help these guys in right now. Definitely. What do you think you bring, you know, to whether it's an NBA team or, or wherever you end up next, what do you think are kind of the strengths that you bring to that team? Um, I really, I'm not sure yet because um, I feel like I could do a lot more. But right now, my focus is on just whether I play three, four, five minutes, wherever it's at. Um, I want to be active. I want to be able to slow down a pro point guard. I want to be able to get a hand on a deflection. I uh, want to knock down a three when I'm open. Uh, and uh, just be a good teammate if I'm not on the court. If I'm on the bench, clapping, standing up, having the best energy on the bench. It's just an all-around game, uh, being a great role model to kids off uh, the court. I just want to just, just be the best person I could be in this basketball. So you see yourself as more of a point guard at the, at the next level? Yes, uh, I think I could play the point guard. I, I'm, I wouldn't say full-time point guard, but I, I can play possessions of the point guard, get us into offense and, um, and also knock down shots. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm a full-time point guard, but I, I think I could eventually over time as I get older be a point guard. Are there some things that you know you think that you can show teams that maybe you weren't able to showcase you know at Marquette or in, or in the D League level um, in workouts? Uh, pick and roll. My game uh, I love pick and roll and uh, the more I do it the more comfortable I feel but if I'm not doing it as well, a lot then it kind of feel it, it, I'm not as comfortable but the more I do it I feel a lot comfortable and I think more teams will start to realize that I am good and pick and roll situation. What advice has your brother, you know, OJ given you throughout this entire process, just given that he's been through this? Stay ready. Um, he just knows a lot of guys enter the NBA each and every year, whether it's a call up, uh, whether it's a uh, drafted, whether they get picked on a summer league, just stay ready. He, he knows I can play this game. He believes in me to the death. Like I never seen no one believe me, even when people gave up on me. Like he's still in my corner believing me like it's it's a serious belief. Like he's having real conversation with me. Like, stay with it, stay ready. Like you're going to make it. Thanks so much.